Hello my friends, uh, welcome again with a cool tutorial. I'm sure a lot of you will like it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add a slide animation, uh, rep fully replicated. You can use it for all your project. Uh, and today I'm going to use the MP system. Uh, it would be nice to add this feature to the MP system. Okay, so let's add the slide animation. Uh, first, <coughs> go to uh, the blueprint of the, your character. And as I said, you can use this method to any uh, project. Uh, let's start with <coughs> a new custom event. Are we going to call it multi uh, cast slide? And of course, we're going to set it up to multicast and make sure it's relevant. Next is we're going to play montage. And I'm going to skip a step just to show you uh, how does it play and how to fix it. So right now, <coughs> we have the montage. So I'm going to pull this in. We need the rate. We need, do we need starting position? No, that's fine. We're not going to use any sections. Uh, the mesh, we could use it after. Okay. One second. okay. <coughs> so after that, we're going to call another custom event. And this time we're going to use the client uh, slide. And here we're going to make it run on server. And we're going to call the multicast. Did I type wrong? Yes. Multi. Okay. So, multicast slide. <coughs> and again, drag your mesh, montage, play rate. then call key. I'm just going to use a board and I'm going to use C, CV, and then call the client slide. Client slide. So in here, I shouldn't call this. Break this. Remove target like that in here with this sorry right here mesh and play rate one and the montage that I want to use <coughs> I got this slide animation from the uh, cover rifle it's in the marketplace let me see right here so I want to use this. So all you need to do is uh, create a montage for that animation and also make sure it's a root motion animation. So enable root motion and go to the montage. And since the MP system already used default slot for the upper body, uh, just add a new slot and I called it full body. And I just make sure this is selected properly. So make sure it's full body. Next step is to add our animation. And okay. <coughs> Compile and go to your mesh. Go to the mesh. Go to the onion blueprint and we need to add that slot that we just added. As I said, you can see he's using default slot for the upper body. So if I do use default slot, the animation will play only on the upper body. 
So make sure you use another slot and call it whatever you want so you play full body animation. So here I'm going to change this to full body, the one I added. Compile. And then <coughs> I want to show you the result, but we're going to have to do some fixes. So first, first before we check just with one. And compile. Okay, so as you can see, the animation is playing, but it's the head bobbing is all over the place. Now, just let's see if it's fully replicated. That was on the client side. So let's put two. And let's test it here. Where's my. Okay. So I'll just go in front of him. So as you can see, the animation is fully replicated. But for you, for the owner, it's all over the place. Like it's going to give you sickness. How to fix that, I'm going to show you an easy trick. So let's go back to the multicast. And here, you need to call the camera boom or sprint arm. And what we need to call is pawn rotation. So set, OK? So we want to set the pawn rotation. And just drag this and put it there. And then do the same <coughs> and put it at the end. And complete. When it's complete, so the default, the default here, we are not using any control rotation. So when we play the montage, we want to set it to true. And when the montage is complete, we want to set it back to default. So keep in mind, MP system is using a false value for the control rotation. So we want to play it, set it to true, play the montage, finish the montage, and set it back to false. So this is what we did here. And this is will fix our problem. So now, drag this here and go at the end and check. So it's true now. Once we play the montage, it's true. When it's complete, it's going to turn back to false. And this will solve the head bobbing. Let's start. Start. All right, let's test it. Let's go away from him so he can see us. There you go. No more head bobbing. That's it. As you can see, the slide animation is playing. The only thing that's left is the weapon socket. And to fix that, let's go to let's go to uh, our animation. And I just want to see something here. We are using. I believe the weapon is attached to a weapon bone. And as you can see the weapon bone for this for this animation is not in the arm because it's not animated. So what you could do is <coughs> Go to zero, drag this, I'll show you. Because it's not animated, it's an additional bone and it's not animated, so it's just in the middle of the air. Come on, let me select it. There you go. I'm just showing you quick how to do it, but of course, uh, you guys can spend more time to adjust this. This is issue is only MP system using the weapon bone.
but if you are using a socket to the hand you shouldn't have this issue the weapon will be attached to the hand so now let's just test it so it's always attached as you can see it's always attached I am not sure the direction it might be wrong uh, what I could do is is add a preview and just submachine I think it's this one all right so it's, this is the one so that's our submachine so what we could do is rotation change the rotation so now it's sliding the weapon is there and then he will grab the weapon so put the socket up let's see how it looks here uh, we could you're not gonna see this when you're playing in third person uh, sorry first person so like that like that and like that slowly and like that all right so now before oh, sorry I, I think i did a mistake here let's see okay so all you have to do is add a keyframe and apply and save now the issue is solved with the socket so let's play let's go in front of him and slide and the weapon is attached slide weapon. there you go now we have a slide a smooth slide animation uh, repli fully replicated I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.